Okay, let's talk about PassLock system status. There's modes of operation of this system. Normally, if everything's working good, you're in what we call the fuel continue. In other words, the car starts, runs just fine, the security light is off. Now, when something goes wrong, whether maybe a bad pass lock sensor, circuit problem, bad BCM, whatever the case may be, fuel disabled means that the BCM did not read the proper pass lock or code voltage value or didn't read one at all. Well, what will happen there is the BCM will not send a fuel enabled password to the PCM and what will happen on initial, the first key startup, the vehicle will start and run for two seconds and then the computer will kill the injectors. You are now in a 10 minute lockout period. The security light will be on hard for 10 minutes. Any additional key attempts to start the vehicle, there will be no injector pulses. It won't even start. You will get a start up on the initial key cycle, but if it goes into the fuel disable mode, any key cycle attempts within 10 minutes will have no, there will be no injector pulses. So that's what we call the fuel disable mode. The fuel lockout mode, this is that thing called a 10 minute lockout mode. In a minute, you're going to see there is a short lockout mode, what they call the short tamper mode, which is four seconds, and the long tamper mode, which is 10 minutes. Now we're going to explain the difference between that and you're going to use a security light to determine very quickly whether you're in a short four second tamper mode or the long 10 minute tamper mode. Now, fuel enable. Fuel enable is going to occur in the event that, let's say you start the vehicle, you had a successful key cycle, the PCM got a fuel enable password from the BCM, everything's good to go. Car drives down the road. Let's say 10 miles down the road, something happened. In other words, when we had that successful key cycle, the R code voltage value on that yellow wire, let's say, for example, got pulled down to 1.15 volts. The BCM says, oh, that's the right R code voltage value. Let's go ahead and send the enable password to the PCM, and it allowed the injector operation. But let's say going down the road, 10 miles down the road, that Hall effect sensor went bad, and that voltage didn't stay at 1.15 volts on that yellow wire. Let's say it open circuited and went right back to the 5 volts. The BCM sees that yellow wire at 5 volts now. It turns the security light on. Now, since we already had a successful key cycle, we have logged a code, but now every other, other additional key cycle, the car will start and run, but the security light will be left on with a DTC telling us that there's a problem. So when you're in this fuel enable mode, what happens is that problem occurred after a successful key cycle. We stored a DTC, but from this point on, the vehicle will not be under the protection of the anti-theft system.